き討ちをされようと耐えてきたのだそして少しでも認めてもらうためそしてあの世界で生きるためリリー様はあらゆる面で努力をしたそういやリリー did have a hard childhood but who hasn't who hasn't had a hard childhood a lot of children do struggle in their childhood a lot through either peer pressure of parents siblings a lot of a lot of children she's not the only one she's not the only one but it's kind of sad it's kind of sad that、uh, she, she was put through all that from her own family though usually it's either parents or outside but it was totally all family family hardship she endured it she did endure it and、um, Probably became a better person for that. She did become a better person. She's a different person than her siblings. Her siblings probably were treated like kings while she was treated like、um, dirt, probably, because she had to work as twice as hard,、um, do twice as everything that her siblings did, and she pulled through. She pulled through. I wish that they had more. Information on her past. They did show clips like for the past two episodes. This was from episode、uh, 11, and there was another one that's episode 10.、Uh, I think it was also episode 11 as well. I think it, it was a brother thinking about、uh, his past or taking, taking it back to the way he saw his sister in his, in his childhood. I just wish that there was more. I just wish there was, there was more, so I do hope that they do create a second season. To me, this,、uh, this series was not as good or deserving of a second season, but for this reason alone, I actually wanted to know like, what happened in her childhood. Why would well, they treat her like that? Why would they give her more hardship than their, their other children? Why would she have to struggle more? Why would she have to endure more? More questions than answers. And I want to I wanna see that. I want to see it. I don't want to read it from the manga. I want to see it from the anime. And I'm hoping for a second season, hopefully soon. If it doesn't get one in, say, a half a year or a year from now, then there's no hope for one. It was a Katsu that pulled her out from the darkness. It was a Katsu. He's the only one that could have done it. If it wasn't for him actually meeting her and actually getting involved in her life, she would still be the same Lily that Lily I knew. Still in her cage, still following the rules of listening to her siblings, listening to her family. Same old Lily. Joyless Lily. He brought joy in her life. Katsu brought joy into Lily's life. If he didn't get involved in protecting her, if he didn't get involved in her life, then she wouldn't have. She, have, she wouldn't have no joy. She is now joyful. She treasures her life. She treasures her school life and her actual life with him. If he actually died, I think, she, I think Lily would actually shed a couple of tears. Because you know that she, he loves her, or she loves him. We know that she loves him. We know that. We know that for several episodes now. If you've been watching this entire series, you know that she loves him. You know that she has a, a f- hardcore, she has fallen head over heels for Akatsu. Just Lily is saying her thanks for saving her, for saving Lily when she couldn't. 
She knew her for so many years, and she tried and tried and tried to save Lily herself. But it was a katsu that did it. It was a katsu that st basically stood up for her while nobody else did. Nobody in her family or none of her, si her siblings, nobody in her family would stand up for her. She tried and tried and tried, I guess, failed overs and overs. Takes a, takes a strong uh, man to actually save a woman, to break her free from her chains, to break her free from the prison that she has been living in for decades. I mean, not for decades, for years. Decades. For years. For years. The hardship that she has to deal with or dealt with her whole entire life, her childhood, everything like that. It's the first time. First time that she has felt joy in her life. It's the first time that she loves the living, basically. Loves it. First time ever. That's why she's shedding tears. Because she's finally free. Lily is finally free from her shackles. If you ever wonder why you didn't see Lily out there protecting her master, you, you wonder why that her own avatar wouldn't come out, it's because Lily told her not to. She changed it up, and that's why she was she didn't show up. And if you watch the entire episode and the entire series or the entire episode, episode twelve, you will see that she has a little like rash mark because she was chained up. She basically chained her to the ground, making sure that she wouldn't pop up and save her from her own brother. Because you'll be questioning, like, okay, what she has her own avatar. Why she, can't she come out and save her from all this embarrassment? It's because Lily, Lily did that. Lily did that. That's why. That's why. That's why she didn't pop up. I was questioning that too. I was questioning like, okay, why wasn't uh, Lilia coming out? And we saw that uh, her chained up. And I thought it was her sister could be getting involved. But it was Lily herself. Lily herself chained her up. So that she wouldn't get involved in this situation. Maybe it could be that she didn't want to get her uh, endangered, destroyed. Because the brother had like four of his own avatars and she only had one. And they're very, they're probably very powerful. I know that maybe Lilia can maybe knock out two, but she's probably more worried about saving uh, Lilia's life and not her own. She has to make sure that she actually is good with the heavens. She has to make sure that she's not breaking any rules. Because she can't be associating herself with the demon. She cannot be associating herself with the demon. That's why her brother got even more mad. When he got involved, he made it worse. That's what Lilia told him in her conversation. You getting involved made her life even more worse in the heavens. Not in the human world, but in the heavens. Because if her brother was able, did go up there in the heavens and tell everybody, well, I saw Lilia, or I saw Lily, working with the demon, working with the demon. It could be a harsh punishment. So she has to make a reason why uh, she was associating herself with the demon. Why she was following him around. And if she told him that like a, hey, I love him. I love this guy. It's like a Romeo and Juliet situation. Like a lot of, a um, lot of, love triangles or not triangles but love situations so the best ones are the ones that involve the Romeo and Juliet situation where two houses two types of beings two types of races demons angels can't coexist with each other 
can't fall in love with each other, and that's to get against the rules. For, I'm not sure for the demon side, but I know for sure, especially with the way that the brother got upset. You can't get involved. You can't get involved with that um, right there. There's no way. No way in heck you can't get involved with the demon if you're an angel. That's probably a, a number one rule, or it could be a number two rule. I'm not sure. I don't. I, they don't show us the rule books when it comes to the angels and how they have to live their lives, especially if they're living in the human world. Oh, Some can say it's a thank you kiss. Some can say it's a confession kiss. I was, I would say it's a confession kiss. After, after that happened, you would say it was a, it'll be a confession kiss. Pouring her heart out, giving him the kiss on the lips. It's a good thing that he rolled. <laughs> it's a good thing that he rolled around. Who knows if he was awake at that time? Could be pretending to be asleep. I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows if he was actually asleep or not? But I I would say it's a kiss of love. Kiss of a confession. Showing her actual affection towards him. It could be both as well. Because she did say, I appreciate you. Thanking him. For actually stepping in and saying and saving her could be one of those kisses, but on the lips, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say that. That would be more of a a double one. I say it's a it's a double whammy mo more like more likely, but it's more like of a confession kiss to me. In my opinion, confession kiss, confession kiss. In my opinion. <laughs> To me, I want to hear more of his, of uh, like his thoughts on Lee. We got more of her. That's the other thing. We got more of her and her thoughts on him. We didn't get a lot of thoughts on him on her. That's the thing. I would love to have seen more of that. We did get a little bit, a little bit, and that's not even enough. That's why I say second season. Just a second season. Doesn't have to be another one after that to bring out the past of her and also more of his side. Like maybe we could see more of his thoughts on her. We didn't get to see a lot of that. It could be that also. And uh, that him stepping in could be a reason or could be a say like, hey, that's that's a showcase that, yeah, he has affection for her. That's all she's waiting for is that that's what she's saying right here. Like, I want that. I want that confession. I want I want to know how you feel and I want to know if you feel the same way. Recuperate, uh, reciprocate those uh, feelings. That she has. Does he reciprocate those? I, I don't know. It could be that he does. Like, if you're willing to sacrifice yourself, you know that you're not stronger than the person that you're going to fight. If you're willing to run and prevent her own demise, or her own embarrassment. And of course, I think that that's a tall tale. That was, that shows us that that actually that is his actual feelings for her. Like no one would do that just for a friend. Even a best friend. Nobody would step in knowing that they, they might lose their life. Also get in trouble with their boss for actually taking on an angel by themselves. Unless you love the person that you're risking your life for. So I say... Yeah, he does. We just don't know. We just haven't dived right deep into his thoughts about her and him falling in love with her. We saw more of her falling in love with him 
and him falling in love with her. That's the thing. That's the thing. And I wish that uh, we saw more of that than, uh, than just of her. I wish that we saw more of, her, of him. Uh, we, it should be equal. It should, been, should have been equal. Not more, but equal. This could be a sign that we are getting a second season because just her, his boss showing up and hugging him like that. Of course, that shows that she does have affection for him. Which could be a love rivalry right there. That's an actual love rivalry. While Yuki is more of a antagonizer. And tries to get her to do things that she, she wants her to do. Or not wants her to do. But knows that she needs her to do. Basically getting involved in her love life. This is more of a love rivalry. It could be that they were former lovers. Or they tried to be lovers. It could be that. Or could be just that... Uh, his boss loves him so much because what type of what type of boss would actually come all the way from her own work from hell and actually show up making sure that her one of her employees was uh, all right just like how he did it just like how he showed uh, like his willingness to actually defend Lily she's willing to come uh, this girl right here this her his boss was willing to come all the way over here to his apartment, making sure that he was okay. So now I'm hoping for a second season. I'm hoping for a second season. And that second season will probably be better than this season. And I'm hoping maybe winter. If not, maybe spring of next year, which would be the exact time that this one got, which was spring as well. Season 2, please. Season 2. I'm asking for a season 2, please. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Please do drop a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you on the next one. I hope to see you on the next one. Peace out.